Welcome to MTBC Web EHR 2.0 tutorial for meaningful use stage 2. How to achieve core and menu measures. In this tutorial, we will look at the core measure number 12, patient reminders for preventive or follow-up care. Let's open up the PDF from the CMS website. The objective of this measure is to use clinically relevant information to identify patients who should receive reminders for preventive or follow-up care and send these patients the reminder per patient preference. The measure requires more than 10% of all unique patients who have had two or more office visits with the eligible professional within 24 months before the beginning of the EHR reporting period were sent a reminder per patient preference when available. The exclusion is any eligible professional who has no office visits in the 24 months before the EHR reporting period. Now let's check the attestation requirements for this measure. In the attestation requirements, the denominator is the number of unique patients who have had two or more office visits with the eligible professional in the 24 months prior to the beginning of the EHR reporting period. The numerator is the number of patients in the denominator who were sent a reminder per patient preference when available during the EHR reporting period. The threshold is the resulting percentage must be more than 10% in order for an eligible professional to meet this measure. Let's check the couple of terms from this measure. Patient preference. The method of communication that patient prefers to receive their reminders such as, but not limited to, by mail, by phone, or by secure messaging. Active patients, the patients with at least two office visits in the last 24 months. Now let's go to the MTBC Web EHR 2.0 to see how this measure is achieved. For this particular measure, you can find the patient reminder report under reporting section of the practice management website. Once you click the patient reminder from the list, the web EHR will open the page where you can extract the report to send patient reminders. Now select the name of the provider and the date for which you want to extract the report. Now since this measure requires two or more office visits, click Office Visit Report and click Search. Now the report will be displayed in this box over here. You can see all the patients for whom the reminder is supposed to be sent. Now this report will include patient account number, first and last name of the patient, email address, phone number, sex, communication preference, and patient reminder sent status, and the reporting date. Communication preference can be found on the demographics of the patient. The patient can be asked in what way he or she wants to be communicated, either by email, phone, secure messaging, fax, letter, or if the patient declines, you can click declined. If one of these options is selected, it will display in the report over here. You can select the patients for whom the reminder should be sent. and save the report. You can choose the name of the report of your choice and the report will be saved in the web EHR. Once the report is saved, you can always extract the report by clicking open and selecting the report from here. Again, you will receive all the patients for whom the reminder have been sent and the status. 
and we hope this video has been informative for you and thank you for your time. If you have any questions regarding mini for use, please contact us at 732-873-5133 extension 308.